The Walking Dead, issue 42. Ah! Oh my lord, Carol! Here, Carol. Just be quiet. Maybe your drink. Just let me die. <coughs> Just let me. God damn it, Carol. Why? Fuck! I can't believe she did this. She did. She walked to it. I, I, I saw her standing there. Just out of reach. Hood. She just stepped forward and let it. Uh. Seeing her like this next to Alan, it's just. It's so sad. Too many. We've lost too goddamn many. Sophia, I'm, I'm really sorry about your mama. Really, I feel bad. Uh, uh, Sophia? Sophia? Be nice, Carl. She's very upset. She's just going to need some time. Listen to your mother, son. Sophia doesn't want to talk right now. It's okay if you don't want to talk, Sophia. You don't have to talk if you don't want to. I still like you. I know. It's been two weeks already, but I still can't believe she's gone. I didn't know Carol all that well, but I still miss her. It's sad, but life goes on. Well, I think this one's small enough. Feel comfortable? Yeah, it feels good. I'm not swimming it like the others. Still, with the heat outside, are you sure I need to wear this? I'll be cooking. One of those suits saved Glenn's life. You're wearing it. You're going to be on the tower if there ever is an attack. You're the best shot we have. If someone tries to forcibly breach our fences, you're going to be up there to pick them off. It's dangerous, and you're going to need protection. A lot of good... I'm going to be up there dying of heat stroke. I wonder what dumbass decided these stupid suits should be black. Some prick who thought they looked cool. Just stay in the shade. You'll be fine. Okay, whatever. Does this make me look fat? So, you can still shoot while wearing it? Obviously. It doesn't restrict my movement very much at all. With the helmet on, it'll limit my peripheral vision, but other than that... 
I'll be the first to say it, but I think this is gonna work. With the zombies out front and Andrea picking off anyone who tried to get in, we're safe. That's it. Maybe so. We'll see. Go ahead and get that gear off, Andrea. We're going to leave it up here. Just in case you need to get to it in a hurry, it'll be up here waiting on you. I'll stock up on ammunition up here too. Tyrese, can you help me bring more up here after I get this crap off? Sure, no problem. You okay? What do you mean? You know what I mean. I shot Carol to keep her from coming back as a monster. I shot my sister for the same reason. After doing it to Amy, I kind of came to the terms with necessity of it, honestly. What Carol did, frankly, upsets me more. I don't know why she would do that. I know living here, living surrounded by all these things, all the death we've seen, the friends we've lost, it's no walk in the park. I guess it takes its toll on a person after a while, but what she did with her daughter here, I don't know. I just don't understand it. These things change a person. It certainly changed me. Tell me about it. I was a clerk at a law firm, fresh out of college. I'd never even fired a gun. Now look at me. My sister wouldn't even recognize me if she saw me now. I'm a completely different person. Sometimes I don't even recognize myself. Carol dying? How are you dealing with it? I had a girlfriend in high school. It was a long time after we broke up. Well, a few months. But when you're in high school, that's a long time. She committed suicide. I took it hard, even though I know it had nothing to do with me. But I dealt with it. I came to terms with it. Suicide. In a moment, just pissing me off. Made me angry at the person who did it. It's not something to be sad about, I think. Carol doesn't deserve my sorrow. <sighs> what the? Finally! We put it on and you kind of woke up towards the end. So we waited out here. We've been here for almost 20 minutes waiting for you to wake up. So you made this? Well, I was helping her. She did most of the work, though, and she designed it herself. So, you and Tyrese made it together? Yeah, it's been a real chore sneaking around and slipping away without you finding out what we were doing. It'll take a while, but you should be able to walk on it real well eventually. This is great, guys, really. Tyrese, you don't mind if I have a moment alone with Andrea? Yeah, sure, man, no problem. What is it, Dale? Is everything okay? You can sleep with Tyrese if you want. What? We don't have to be together. If this is getting old for you, be with me. I understand. Girl your age. I know I can't please you the way you'd like. I just can't anymore. Things don't work like they used to. But if you just want to have sex with him, if that's all, I just want you to know I'm fine with it. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't break up with you. Oh, stop it. You wonderful, handsome, perfect, insecure old man. I love you. Tyrese and I are just friends. I promise. Did you see Dale walking on his peg leg yesterday? Don't call it a peg leg. There's got to be something else you can call it. Like, peg leg sounds so damn silly. I can't think of anything else. Prosthetic doesn't seem to apply. Not to me, at least. You've been in such a great mood today. I mean, what's the deal? I, I mean, you're almost never grumpy, but, but still, what gives? I think I want to have a baby. Okay. You're sure? You're not worried? You think we should do this? Yeah, I do. Your dad will really want to kill me, but I think it'd be good. I want to have a baby. I want to have a baby with you. That's what I want to hear. You 
been great, Michelle, in these last two weeks. You've really been there for me. I've had a lot on my mind after Carol and you. You've just been great. Tyrese, shut up. Don't fuck up whatever it is we have between us by talking about it. Well, what do you think? You got a point. They would make a ninth extra bear in the event of an attack. But I'm not thinking we have much to worry about. It's been almost two months since you got back from Woodbury. Blind man on foot could have found this place by now, the closer they are. I don't think they're coming. Will they keep someone out? Sure. There's more arriving every day. If we just leave them there, eventually they'll be keeping us in more than they'll be keeping anyone out. Still, they're not quite as bad as they were. I say we give it some time. Feels good knowing that if anyone wanted to get to us, they'd have to fight through them first. You make a good point. We'll leave them be for that. Come on, Sophia. Do you want to come play? Carl, I don't think she wants to right now. If you do feel like playing again soon, just tell me. I'll be ready when you are. Need an extra pair of eyes on these kids? Sure. Patricia, without Carol, it's... It's not as easy. Are we watching a movie tonight? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I think so. But there was talk of conserving gas and postponing. Oh, stop it. Damn it. I'm not going to fall. I've got it. I've got the hang of it. Okay? Fine. Fine. You think? I don't know. But maybe. No way. Not gonna happen. Ha <laughs> Nothing but net. Well, what do you think? I think Tyrese is a terrible basketball player. I honestly think I could beat him with one hand and all. No, the tomato. I know you couldn't. Oh, it's good. Great, actually. I don't usually eat them like this. You know, plain, alone, like a piece of fruit. But these things, they're probably the best tomatoes I've ever had. It's a shame we've got no way of saving them for the winter. We're gonna have to have a lot of produce to eat. Freezing them for all the flavor anyway. Yeah, you're a damn magician with vegetables, man. Or maybe it's just because we haven't had anything that didn't come from a can for so long. It's really... Shit. Kill them all. 